what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel here at crypto nation i uh, just want to say thank you to my recently new subscribers and if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button for uh post notifications because it's totally free also i'm not a financial advisor um it's not my job to tell you to buy hold or sell any crypto asset all i do is just show you what i'm doing and just give you know give the information out there but it's a it's up to us to you know to really do our own due diligence on the different crypto projects anyways uh, with further ado, let's get right into it. So I found another um, hidden gem here. Um, it was funny, I actually found this by by accident. A lot, some of these cryptos I'd be finding, I'd be finding by accident. I actually found this on Coin Coin Market Cap, and then lo and behold, it's also available on Coinbase. Because I know sometimes when I find gems on on Coin Market Cap, whatever, I look on Coinbase, it shows it on there, but it's not listed where you can buy buy it. Uh, right then and there. But this one is actually on Coinbase where you can also buy it. Anyway, it's called Ocean Protocol. Um, this uh, from, from reading the information on this project, it's obviously a Web3. Because, so, you know, the next crypto bull run, you know, Web3 is going to be part part of the narrative. You know, Web3, DeFi, and cross-border payments and smart contracts. Uh, you know, this is also going to drive the um, the crypto, you know, bull market, in you know, in the next few months. And we got some semi-breaking news today. Apparently, the the SEC is not going to file for an appeal about the case with Grayscale, them pro applying for the, the spot Bitcoin ETF. I heard that it was supposed to possibly get approved or go live today, but I didn't hear nothing else new. But I believe next week, I, I'm highly believe that next week in the crypto market is probably going to be a big week. I have a feeling one of them, one or two, three companies is going to go ahead and get approved for that spot Bitcoin ETF. That's what things is leaning around right now. That's what things is just seeming like right now, because they know that we're getting closer and closer to our bull run the um uh the bitcoin having coming up to sometime in like april or something like that so at this point they got to move forward at at, at this point because you know time is running out uh, apparently gary zinsler he's run out of options um uh, he's already prolonged our crypto you know bull market he's prolonged it for this as he probably can for you know for his rich banking buddy buddies because obviously his rich banking buddies are going to be buying into crypto as well it was just all a facade and all the game that he was playing for the beginning because they all know that this is the future of finance and money the whole crypto and blockchain anyways uh let's get right back into this ocean protocol um like i said this is a web3 uh token here uh let me go look at the market cap um what's crazy is the market cap is not that high for this one i would have thought a market cap this one would have at least been over a billion market cap but it's not the market cap is only 400 uh 407 million market cap which is means this can definitely get up to over a billion market cap in the next few months i was surprised when i saw that market cap 407 million and then the uh, i like the tokenomics on this one as well as um the circulating supply is 1.4 billion you know 1.4 billion circulating supply and the total supply is 1.4 billion and the max supply is also 1.4 billion so the, the the circulating supply is literally pretty much at a hundred percent so the 1.4 million the excuse me the 1.4 billion tokens that's out is 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 that's also the it's the circulating supply and it's the max supply so all the tokens that's in circulation is all on there 100 and this is one of the first few times that i've seen a token where where a hundred percent of the uh of the of the total tokens is out in the circling supply well i seen another one that was about i think 98 or 98 or 99 percent so the, the tokenomics on this and the market cap for this one is is really good it seemed like you know it's only 1.4 billion total tokens and it's all 100 percent in the circling supply this is one i'm definitely got to get on i've well, I already got it on my watch list on coinbase um another thing is the chart let's look at the chart here um the all-time chart for this one it looked like it did if it suffered from the bear market okay uh, hold on just one second okay look at that all-time chart it's still up 851 percent 851.65 percent in the all-time chart the one year it's up 86 percent in the one year which means they didn't even suffer from the bear market it, it only it only pulled back in a bear market this, this is amazing guys the one month is down seven percent in a one month you know that's regular in crypto the seven day is down five percent and the one day is up 0.98 percent so in the short term it's it's, a, it's down a little bit in the short term but that's perfect that's actually the best time to buy in crypto obviously when it's in the red but looking at that all-time chart and the one-year chart man this thing is is going to take off at 28 cents and the all-time high 
uh, for this thing was one. It had an all time high of a dollar of a dollar sixty seven. Yep. A dollar sixty seven was its all time high and its all time low. It looked like it had an all time low of only is that one cent. Yep. It had an all time low of like one cent. And then that was back in 2019. It looked like yeah, back in 2019. Then it traded back in 2019, 20, 2019, 2020, it traded sideways because that's where the market was at back then, 2019, 20, back during the COVID, 2020. And then it looked like here, July of 2020 is when it just took off. It finally just started to, to move up and then it pulled back again. It pulled back and then, and then it looked like um, December of 2020, around December of 2020, um, late, yep, late December 2020, uh, going, going into the new year of 2021. Yeah, it looked like 2021 um, of January. It just, from there, it just took off. This coin just took off. Dad, look at this. It, it looked like it literally just went parabolic. Look at that, all the way down here, three, three to four cents. And then from there, it just took off 54 cents. No, hold up. Excuse me. Excuse me. No. Hold on just a second. OK. Let me go back here. OK. Around 2020, it looked like it, it was at about eight, nine cents, 20 cents. Boom. It went up to 50 something cents. It pulled back a little bit to 30 something cents. Then it came back up 40s. And then it looked like around. Yeah. A January of the new year of 2021. It was at about in the four in the early and mid forties, and then it just took off from there. It went all the way up to like a dollar. It just went parabolic. Look at that. It went up to like a dollar seventy four. The all time high was a dollar seventy four. So it looked like here this must have been the peak of the bull run right here of of a t four of let me see here of January of a no excuse me that's um April April of twenty twenty one. Yeah, because we had a bull run. This was at the peak. A dollar seventy four was at its peak. And then it came back down that summer twenty of going towards the summer of uh, twenty twenty one. And then it just it came back. And then it just dropped down after that. And then here, go back here. It pulled all the way. It went all the way back down to like thirty four cents from a dollar seventy four of uh, July of twenty twenty one. Just going over here, then. It looked like 2020. Let me see here. OK, I don't want to be too long on this video, but yeah, you guys get the idea. And then it looked like here there must have been a bear market. OK, of the, um, November 27 to 21. But anyways, looking at this price action, 70 cents. Came back down. Yeah, so it looked like, um, you know, at, this this must have been at the end of the bear of the bull market. It came back down, and then that was pretty much when what, um, not last summer, but the summer before. You know when the crypt when the crypto market when the uh, our because our our crypto bull market ended early, and then it just came all the way back down. But but this coin didn't suffer too hard from the crypto bear market. A lot of cryptos got hammered during the bear market. You know, 2022, 23. A lot of cryptos got hammered. And it went all the way down and then it then it only came down into the 20. So right now it's at 28 cents. It's like this token really didn't suffer too bad from the bear market. But anyways, this um, ocean protocol. Let's go over some of the. Um, what it's about. Your, uh, you know, transferring data. Um, you know, that's going to be the narrative, you know, the decentralization of data going to, going into the next, uh, you know, bear, bull market with Web3 AI. You know, I can go ahead and read some of this. Um, Ocean Protocol uh, utilizes a combination of blockchain technology, decentralized networks um, and, uh, and, and crypto, uh, excuse me, and cryptographic uh, techniques to facilitate secure and uh, privacy prefer uh per, excuse me perversing excuse me preserving data sharing our goal is to build the tools and services to facilitate a new data economy that gives data owners control while preserving privacy and helping to uh, kickstart 
uh, commercialization of data, including data marketplace, excuse me, data marketplaces. Ocean Protocol was founded to build technology for a data economy at the intersection of blockchain, data, and AI. So we all know that, you know, the whole thing with data and, you know, Web3 and AI, you know, this is what's going to drive the next bull run as well, AI and data. You know, we all know that AI can't live without data. Um, AI feeds off data. That's, you know, AI is, uh, you know, data is AI's food, basically. <laughs> it's just food, you know, for energy. You, you know, it lives off data. And, you know, we all know this. And that's going to be, you know, the driving narrative for the next bull market as well, you know, with the Web3. And then it says, uh, we have pioneered several technologies to push the envelope. Excuse me there. We have uh, pioneered several technologies to push the envelope forward, including the original patent for NFTs, uh, token engineering and data tokens and others. Find more here. OK, I'm not going to have time to click all that. Let me see. Actually, what would happen if I click there? I don't want to be too long on this video. So, you know, you guys all get the idea. OK, that's just extra information about the data and everything. OK, but anyways, yeah. And then it says, who are the founders of Ocean Protocol? Let's see here. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Who are the founders of Ocean Protocol? Founders combine a deep background in big data, blockchain, artificial intelligence, and data exchanges with real world businesses experience as entrepreneurs, designers, and, and technologists. Also, we have over 35 advisors spanning the globe with recognized um, expertise in AI, blockchain, big data, business and policy. Advisors were carefully selected based on an um, alignment of values toward unlocking data and AI for society. OK, this is amazing. Uh, what makes Ocean Protocol unique? You know, I'm not going to read this whole thing. It's going to make the video too long. But yeah, I'm going to I'll read some over here. Ocean Protocol unlocks access to data that would previously be unavailable or change challenging uh, to assets by allowing anybody with sought after um, data sets to tokenize their data and make it available on the ocean um, market. So yeah, that's, so that's what the future look like. They're going to be tokenizing data where basically we'll have, you know, tokens and out of, and we could be using that to decentralize our data. Uh, that's that, you know, that's going to be, you know, the future, you know, and, and that's amazing. And then, OK, what did I leave off? Researchers, data analysts and anybody else access to more reliable data. Ocean Protocol provides the tools needed for firms to build and launch their own data markets by either directly forking the Ocean Protocol or by using the supplied Ocean Protocol React hooks. It also provides extensive documentation to assist with the process. Holders of Ocean tokens holders of ocean tokens can lock their ocean tokens at dfoceandio.org uh, and can earn the ocean um, after that they can either earn passive rewards by holding the the, the v ocean or can earn active rewards by staking their v ocean or on potentially selling uh data sets and can earn rewards okay yeah this is a this is going to be, you know, this is going to be the driver force right here. And yeah, guys, this is a great look like a great project with, you know, with decentralizing your data. So basically, it kind of reminds me of Jasmine, where you can have access to your data, you know, where you can control your own data, decentralize it. And this is also using like AI and everything. You know, like I say, I'm, I'm from reading all this, it's kind of very similar to Jasmine, but we just got to figure out what direction Jasmine is going. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, this is definitely uh something to take a look at i'm definitely i already got this on my watch list from looking at that chart looking at the all-time chart in that past year it what's crazy is, is the token is up is the fact that it's up 85 percent in the year and we, we just went through a we just went through one of the longest bear markets looking at that one year chart is amazing 86 percent you know this is eight up 86 percent so this survived the bear market unlike other tokens it beat it actually beat beat the bear market from looking at that chart it beat the bear market so yeah ocean park protocol uh like i said this is definitely going to be you know you know the narrative matter of fact i'm thinking about going ahead and um maybe do a top four or five web three 
um, tokens for um, this coming up next bull run because you know this is you know something about Web three that I like. You know me, you know I'm a, I'm a student of it. You know being an IT student for information technology, I just like that that whole narrative with Web three of you know decentralizing the internet and and our data and our privacy and stuff like that. I'm just I'm already kind of a fan of that, like browsing on the internet. Um, and private and, you know, stuff like that, you know, VPNs and, you know, it's just the whole thing with, with privacy. You know, I don't want Big Brother looking at, you know, what I'm doing on the Internet. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not saying I'm doing anything illegal or nothing, but, you know, I like to have my privacy. You know what I mean? Uh, but, yeah, man, this Ocean Protocol, man, this is definitely going to be in my top Web3, my Web3 pods. I'm going to do more research on different Web3. We already got Jasmine. We got Jasmine. We got, uh, I think, MSX, the other coin, MSX or whatever is Web3. And this is more of the, I'll say this is more of a blue chip. I wonder the blue chip. But the what's crazy about this one is that this one has a low market cap. You would have thought a market, a coin like this, I have a billion dollar market cap. The fact that the market cap is, a, is about less than a half a billion, 407 million market cap. This can definitely hit $2. I'll say this can hit $1.50 dollar fifty to two dollars the next crypto bull run this all-time high was already at about a dollar 74 but we all know that the next bull run is going to be even bigger these type of projects uh you know with web 3 artificial intelligence de decentralization of internet data this is definitely going to be a driving force guys so this is um I'll, i'm i'm I, I could try to do a prediction on this uh, i can say that this toy could possibly hit two dollars next bull run i'll, I'll give it between a dollar fifty to two dollars next bull run you know, I, I want to be conservative. I don't want to put a crazy. I could I could say five dollars. I This could actually this could easily hit five dollars next bull run. But I'll be conservative by I'll say by 20, the late 2024, early 25. This can be this can definitely be at about a, about two dollars, maybe maybe even two dollars and 50 cents. But, yeah, I definitely got this on my uh, watch list. Look, the tokenomics for this is amazing. One point four billion that's in a circulating supply and that is 100 percent of the of the actual supply <laughs> yeah, you can't get no better than this man uh, but anyways guys there we have it ocean protocol another banger here another gem that i found you know for uh, for the community spread the word share like the video please subscribe if you're new here and you know hope everybody have a good um you know friday night early saturday morning be safe out there it's a lot going on in the world with the the war in the middle east our crypto bull run is coming up um like i said the uh bitcoin habit is going to be coming up in the next several months and then we we still got that whole big spike bitcoin ETF. i'm having a feeling that next week is going to be a big week tomorrow saturday already i have a feeling we, we're going to get the breaking news that about two or three of these companies are going to get approved at this point gary jensler can't at this point what is he going to do he's looking very stupid now 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 you got the sbf trial going on and i i have a feeling somehow they're going to link gary jensler in that trial his name is going to pop up at least once or twice. He's not, he's looking bad right now, but we all know what he was up to. We all know the game that, that he was trying to pull. But anyways, uh, the jig is up for the second Gary Jensler and, you know, um, but yeah, that's what's going on with that. But Hey, thanks for tuning in. I would, I will see you guys, um, in the next one. Uh, take it easy.